first guest love for animal rescue. She is also executive producer and starring in the Hallmark Channel original movie, True Love Blooms. Welcome back, Sarah Rue. Welcome, Welcome Sarah. 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 Good to see you. Great to have you. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with that little cutie, that little so min pin, as we call cute. her. Cute. Oh my God. Let's talk about this film now. You okay. play an urban gardener. Mm -hmm. uh, who actually manages the local community garden, right? And then somebody comes along into the garden who wants to plant something a lot more than just flowers. That's right. So, uh, like uh, foundation. Yeah, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> concrete. That's right. Um, so, yeah, so my character runs this community garden that her dad started 20 years before, and it's really important to her and her family. And then a handsome developer, played by Jordan Bridges, uh, comes in and he buys the land and he wants to build condos and rip out the garden. So they are at a bit of an impasse, but of course, it's a Hallmark movie. Sparks fly. Things right. happen. Oh. Maybe a little love is, you know, Perhaps. kindled. Perhaps. I hope so. Maybe the Fingers foundation crossed. that is poured is not concrete wow. and more a foundation of a relationship together. That's, that that so there you go. I feel like, no, I feel like, I feel like at one point the name of the movie was like, well, it was called From the Ground Up for a oh, while. You there know, you go. It was called Garden person. Party, yeah. and now we settled on True Love Blooms, which, you know. It's, it's a good one. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah, and it's perfect for spring. It's Speaking giving you bloom. all the spring feels that yeah. everybody wants. So we have a clip okay. where your character, Vicky, is explaining to your potential love interest, uh -huh. Evan, the beauty of an urban garden yes. versus throwing up a building. Let's take a look. <laughs> Step into my parlor and tell me, what do you like? Just take a look around and see which flowers speak to you, and we'll go from there. These. Yeah? My mom would always plant them. See, you've got gardening in your blood. Trust me, you're going to be a natural. So these will be the centerpiece, and we'll just find other flowers that complement them. Anna. Yes. You want to help us pick some plants? Sure. Great. <laughs> so take a look around, see what else you want. Just it's OK? Yeah. His mom used to plant azaleas. The plant he got used an azalea. Shh, stop it and help. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Yes. Now, I know that this movie is was pretty personal to you, mm -hmm. given your own experience with your parents' New York City community garden. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up in New York City, and my parents were members of the community garden on 96 in Broadway. And some of my like fondest childhood memories are going to that garden and planting flowers. Aww. And I remember my dad taking my finger and we would pet sleeping bumblebees. I kid oh you not. Gosh. Like it was so wonderful. And I think again, growing up in Manhattan, like there wasn't a lot of nature. Right. You know, exactly. like if we saw a pigeon, you were like real excited. Yeah, so like, that's right. oh, oh, my. oh my God. So like going to the community garden was a big deal. And then a developer came in, bought the garden, ripped it out, and built a giant skyscraper. Literally, where, is, where was Vicky? So exactly, exactly. We needed right. a Vicky. I was too little. I couldn't have done it. I was 96 in Broadway, though. That must have been some well, location for a community estate. garden. It's, I mean, it's where the Columbia goodness. is yeah. now, oh, if you know right. that building. There you, so, yeah. there you go. But yeah, so I brought this idea to my best friend, Elias, who's a romantic comedy writer, and we went into Hallmark, and we pitched it and sold it, and then he worked on the script, and we developed it together, and then a year later, they greenlit yeah, it, and yeah. we got Good to shoot you. it. Good for it's you. really fun. I love that it's obviously tied to, to your own uh, personal history. Yeah. So much so that actually it was your grandfather, even one generation further back, mm -hmm. that really kind of was responsible for you developing a green thumb. Well, gardening has just, yeah, it's in my blood. Yes. I feel like I, I'm not as good. My grandpa was like an amazing gardener, and I would go to his house oh, and like look at that. pluck a carrot right look out of that. the ground, and he was, his tomatoes were his prize thing wow. like so look at those two and a half pound tomato and oh like my yeah they were so good he wouldn't even put them in a salad he just slice them and put them on a plate oh, and you'd beautiful. have and they were delicious it was like pride and joy oh, so, my gosh. so this is really in your blood this yeah one's deep yeah and then my generations. mom and dad are big gardeners so it's like you know it's it's now it's down to you know I'm trying to, to keep it together for the family and I feel like my thumb isn't as green as it should be so I've just decided to make movies about gardening <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to well, and your characters have a <laughs> yeah. very green thumb. So yeah. that's and you're also trying to impart the the green thumb on your children, yes, which is really I am. sweet. I know your two little girls are really interested in building a little herb garden. Yeah, so, well, yeah, it's spring break, and so we decided we we're going to plant an herb garden this spring Aww. break, which is really exciting. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've been trying to be eco conscious here in Southern California, and we switched all our flowers to drought tolerant plants. And, oh, that's cool. you know, I'm trying to teach them not only about 
gardening and cultivating their green thumb, but thinking about the world and like how to move For forward. You. That's and, very important. You know. And we wanted to give you a little jump start, give oh. your girls a little jump start on that herb garden. We did actually. For spring break. You know, so we so put together just a few little sure. things. You have some mint, some you basil. Guys. I believe that's, that's oregano, That's right? oregano. Oh. I got you one of those. Oh. That's some basil, the mint. This is if there's so anything nice. that's missing, you let us know yeah, let because us we know. have some rosemary in the backyard <laughs> that's I can right. give you. Sweet. And you guys are going to come over and plant these for me, yes. yeah? Well, yeah. with your greenish thumb, we think <laughs> you'll do that. I'll do okay. I mean, <laughs> if you want them to survive, you, you guys can handle that. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just I'll do the heavy lifting. Right. This is know. so nice, you guys. Oh, How course. special. Thank you. Take pictures and let us know. I will. How it comes I along. Yeah, now you can have them for all your cooking. Yes, yeah. that's so true. That's right. Put some of that basil on one of the cakes Duff is going to teach to make. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you know my daughter wants to bake because of Duff. Like, it's a whole thing. Yeah, you're sticking around oh, for that. Exactly thing. right. That's right. <laughs> Be sure to watch Sarah on the Hallmark Channel original movie, True Love Blooms, this Saturday, April 6th at 8, 7 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel.